we present Painting with Bob, a creative tool specifically designed to assist novices with digital painting. Current painting tools are either geared at professionals and inaccessible to novices, or they are simple enough for anybody to use, but either do not provide high quality output or are not engaging. Additionally, novices are easily discouraged by a long learning curve and particularly by a lack of early on success. Novices may not know where to start with painting and have little time to invest. To address these and other common pitfalls, we put forth a set of design guidelines for creative support tools specifically for novices. Furthermore, we present our prototype system, Painting with Bob, which is implemented based on our design guidelines. The system takes over the difficult task of configuring brush parameters and offers a range of other assistance. To investigate the degree to which different levels of assistance affect painting quality, subjective satisfaction, enjoyment, ownership, and other measures, we devise two levels of assistance. Simple assistance, offering a minimal set of help, and smart assistance, offering extensive painting help. Simple tools are mainly driven by the user's performance, i.e. the hand motion, direction, speed, pressure, etc. The single tool places a random brush splat at the cursor position, guided by drawing direction, speed, and pressure. The fill tool places a number of random brush splats within the cursor radius, guided by the same measures. The structure tool draws a long brush stroke along the user's path. The eraser tool erases the paint within the cursor's radius. Smart tools are mainly driven by the input image. We perform image analysis to automatically choose the best brush texture, orientation, size, and opacity adjustment. The single tool places the best fitting brush splat according to local texture, isotropy, and orientation measures. The fill tool places a number of best fitting brush splats guided by the same measures. The structure tool draws a number of long brush strokes along the local image structure field, with parameters chosen by the above measures. The eraser tool erases paint with similar color properties to where the erase action started. That is, it acts as an edge-aware eraser, allowing for simple removal of image content while preserving unrelated content. We performed a user study to see how novices would react to the different tool sets. In the user study, subjects were given instructions to paint with our system on a Wacom tablet and then performed two trial sessions on two different days. For details of the study setup, please refer to the paper. Results from our user study indicate that Painting with Bob successfully achieves most of the design goals for novice art creativity support tools. In this example, the user performs two very quick rough passes over the image and then adds some very coarse single brush strokes. Finally, the user draws the foreground elements with outlines and some shading. In the first session, the user draws some background and then the foreground elements. We can see that the user has trouble filling in the background elements without affecting the keys. In the second session, the user paints the entire image roughly first, then even lowers the contrast on the foreground elements, and finally proceeds to add desired details to the geese. Here we see a user who uses a lot of the tools in a content-aware manner to create a highly unique look. This user starts with a coarse version of the houses, then discovers some UI settings to simulate a good-looking sky texture. The user then completes the remainder of the picture with a highly content-aware approach, finishing off by adding fine detail where needed. The following sequences show some samples of creative or unusual results obtained by users of Painting with Bob, a good overall result with nice use of local textures. A very minimalistic version of the will image heavily based on individual brush strokes. A great overall result for the Burano image. A classical painting look for the geese image. In future work, we want to extend our approach to additional art domains, such as cartooning or sketching. And we are interested in fostering incidental learning, which we observed in users of Painting with Bob. Thank you for watching.